Clark Gaffer, um, you said some stuff last year when we lost here on Easter Monday about how it was going to be different this time. Um, it was. Yeah, yeah, we got come here, got three points, um, which I think was the main thing after Saturday. Um, the the, the, the broth, all the boys were outstanding, um, especially for the first 60, 65 minutes. Um, I thought we tired for from probably 70 onwards, but we had nine men Saturday, so we kind of expected that. We tried to use the subs as, as best we can and backs, backs against the wall for the last 10, 10 minutes, but you see, you can see the character. I spoke about the character coming back at Wingate, going, you know, going to Dover, winning at Dover. Um, even Saturday, you know, with nine men, we only lost one nil for, for half the game. So um, you see the character there. It, it was a fantastic squad play. Um, squad, squad were really good today. You know, we had Josh come on, Frankie come on, um, Youngie come on. They, they all done a really good job for the team. So um, yeah, look, it, it was really good for, for 65, 70 minutes, and then and then back to the wall. We got the job done. Yeah, is this an afternoon where we've really benefited from the ability to use five subs this year? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Um, I think P went down, went down right at the end and we had to do another sub, so... Um, but look, it, it's the rule, so um, we benefited from, from it today, another, another time we might not. Uh, Amadou coming Saturday, um, had a shortened debut. Um, <laughs> he's had a very different Monday. Yeah, I, th I think that although he was quite unlucky Saturday, he kind of put himself in a position to be sent off, so although I thought he was cheap sending off, I think he owed us a performance today. Um, and I thought he was very good today, um, a, a good goal as well, so, um, so yeah, pleased with Amadou. And Dan's taken that one well, to be fair, in the right place yeah, at the right yeah, time, and, not just after half-time. Let, 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 let's not beat around the bush, you know, we, we could have had five or six goals there today. You know, we could have been three, four up at half-time, um, and then had, had a couple in the second half, so... Um, look, and, and they should have had a man sent off because Smithy's definitely on side and he's clean for on goal. So um, we, we get these little things going against us, but as I say, the, the group in there, although it's early days, they're, they're really, really strong. You know, nothing seems nothing seems to phase them. They, they keep coming back and coming back and working. Um, full credit to them. Yeah, I don't think you look at that group and find a lot of players that you think are going to shy away from a battle. No, they're all battling. They're all battling. Um, I thought Ezzy was outstanding today. Um, the work rate he put in, he covered a hell of a lot of ground after covering a lot of ground Saturday. Um, so he, he was brilliant, you know, and he's probably one that you don't think is going to battle, but he, he, he did that to, out there today. So um, not, not one of them didn't battle for us, you know, squad come on and everyone did. So, um, yeah, like I say, full credit to him. Again, like, like the win at Dover, the lads looked like they really enjoyed it. The fans certainly enjoyed it beyond the goal. Yeah, um, I think that you, you don't get given any any win in this league. Every win in this game, in this league, whether you're bottom or top, you really have to earn it. And we have to really earn our goals as well. You know, no one gives us goals. Um, so every win you get, you enjoy it, you know, whether it's tonight, tomorrow. Um, enjoy it and, and then we move on and we've got other focuses. Cut the days off then before back in for training ahead of the FA Cup. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll train Thursday and, and, and then we'll have a bit of break from the league with the FA Cup. But I mean, like I say, we, we looked at the first six games and we, we knew they were going to be really tricky. We've had, had some really tricky, four, four tricky away games with Billy Ricky coming up. So we knew it was going to be tricky. It's, um, it's important to kind of get, get as many points on the board with that. Um, we'll reassess it after then and, and then look where we're at. Yeah, um, yeah well, I mean, we've been, been, away, been away from over side that's dropped out of the National South, one side that finished. Full for, and, and we know how good these were last year as well. Yeah, I don't think we've played anyone in the bottom ten at the moment. So, uh, Wingate are a good team, Hastings are a good team, Dover are a good team. Um, Carl Shorten always start well. Um, Cray, I think Cray was second. So, um, yeah, five, five really tough games. Um, or four, depending on what happens with the Wingate game. So, I'm proud of the players, I'm proud of the effort they put in, um, and we'll look to go again Saturday. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're effectively two, two wins from two away from both. <laughs> yeah, it's full, full, two really tough games as well so um, full credit to him. Right, cheers boss. Cheers mate. Right Ryan C, um, busy weekend, three points from it, uh, big win today. Yeah, massive win. I thought uh, I thought we were really good today, especially first half. Um, probably disappointed to only go in a goal up, to be honest with you. We had numerous chances. Um, but yeah, considering we played 48 hours ago, or most of the boys played 48 hours ago, to come and put the performance on like that, I thought, uh, I thought we were terrific. Yeah, obviously, you didn't play. You played about half a game on Saturday, but a lot of the lads have played 90 with, with nine men. Um, and so, I said to Jigs earlier, it probably 
helps us a lot that we could use five subs today. Yeah, like I said, I've said that already. I said the five subs are going to make a massive difference this season for a lot of, uh, a lot of squads because you can see that the, what we've come, got coming off the bench is is quality, to be fair. So um, it doesn't weaken us. So when the games are like that, when people are a little bit tired, Gaff has already said that. He said, if you're feeling it, just let him know because we've got five, seven players on the bench that are ready to come on, just slot in and do whatever the person's been doing before them. So there's competition for places this year and um, you can see it out there today, the last 15 minutes, the boys needed the ones that are coming on. And we said the whole season, we're going to need every single player that's involved. Uh, some people are going to be in the team, some are going to be out. So whenever you're on the pitch, you've got to give 100%. And yeah, like, like I said today, that's, what, that's what's happened. And that's, that's two wins from two away from home now, if we discount the Wingate game. So we've, we've gone away and picked up six points and, and we're looking very strong away from home. Yeah, I think, to be honest with you, I think we've looked strong at home as well. I think we've said it already, we've said that we're probably beating ourselves. Um, I've got to look at myself on the weekend, uh, regardless of whether we think it's a red card or not. I should know better. I'm more experienced than, and I should know, I should know just to basically just leave them alone if they make a wrong decision. But we said at home that it's not like we're getting outplayed. It's just been fine margins. Um, and especially Saturday, I think if we keep 11 players on the pitch, I think you see that we probably would have gone on and win the game, but we didn't. So we need to look at ourselves. We can't make excuses. Uh, we can't blame anyone else but ourselves. Um, and to come in today, playing with nine men on Saturday, to come here today and put on that performance um, with the energy, especially, like I say, for, for an hour, I, I, I wouldn't be grudged if we were two, three goals up. Um, it wasn't to be, they get a goal. And the last 15, 20 minutes we have to defend. Um, and again, even when we were defending, I felt comfortable. And we were, again, we broke three or four times. It's just that final ball. If we get that final ball, I think, again, we go and score the third goal. But we don't need to. We're going with the game 2-1. Yeah, you missed Saturday in the FA Cup. Well, disappointed to miss that, I guess. Yeah, really disappointed. Um, like I say, whether we think it's a red card or not, I, I have an opinion on that. I don't think it should have been. But there's nothing that I said that I feel was out of the ordinary to be honest with you but like I say I'm more experienced I should know better so I let the team down so I've apologised to them um, and we have to move on from it we have to learn from it um, it won't happen again It's nice to see the rest of a bit though because the game don't get any easier it's Billericay at home after that in the week later Yeah to be honest <laughs> with you I probably needed like, I probably needed the rest so um, it probably do me a world of good a uh, couple of niggles so it gives me a little bit of time to get everything get 100% and get back to the league and I'm sure the boys will get the result on Saturday and then uh, we can get a bit of momentum now. I think that's what we need to do. Start believing that we are a good team because from what I've seen this season, there's no one where I look at and go, they've been the better team. So I feel like once we get going, once we start clicking, I think it's starting to now. Um, we're starting to realise what we need to do to win games of football and we can't just rock up. We, it's going to take hard work and I think if one buys into that, I think I think we'll be um, I think we'll be right up there. Yeah, I mean, it's not been an easy couple of years for the, for the fans at Folkestone as much as we haven't knocked around the playoff for the last couple of years but from what we've seen at Dover and then today like the fans have certainly enjoyed it and you, you boys seem to be creating a bit of a bomb with them to be yeah 100% that's what I said that's one thing we've noticed this year you can tell just around the place there's a lot there's a massive energy around the place even when Saturday even when we've not picked up the points we probably think we should have they're still with us and it helps us um, like, you can, like I say you can feel the energy between the fans the staff uh, the directors the owners we're all coming as one and we're all in it to do one thing we all know what we want to do that's our aim um, and it's going to be hard work and I think we're all we're all on board of it and uh, we want to give everything we can and see where we get and see how we do well, cheers Ron see you rest up and see you on Saturday see you Saturday cheers thank you